First, I'd like to thank Maureen Roberts and Margaret Busby for getting me here, inviting me and facilitating uh, this speech. My heartfelt thanks, and thanks to my partner, Pamela, and deputy editor of the latest.com. You see it as the backdrop here, and I'll tell you more about that website later. And all who helped me put this talk together. It was a collective uh, work. We owe a mighty debt of gratitude to all those people who came before us. The martyrs, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Patrice Lumumba, Amikar Cabral, Darcy September, Steve Biko. You've heard of those names? Yeah. We venerate them. They gave their lives so we could be free. The rank and file membership has tried to pull back the Liberal Democrat leadership, for instance, to stop the multi-million pound cuts in public expenditure that are an attack on the poor, elderly, sick, black, and vulnerable in our society. When the fat cat bankers who cause the economic crisis <coughs> should be made to pay. Don't you think so? Yeah. You know, this package that Osborne has just uh, uh, unveiled to claw back some money from the banks. I think 1.5 million, was it? 800 million? That's less than they pay in a bonus to a single executive. And that's supposed to be for the whole of us. It's a scandal, and we should be very angry and do something about it. No one can fail to have been shaken up by the scenes of fury on TV from the student demonstrations in London last year. Lecturers at Goldsmiths College strongly supported the protesters and as a fellow member of their union, I back what they said. They congratulated staff and students on the magnificent anti-cuts demonstration and added, we wish to condemn and distance ourselves from the divisive and in our view counterproductive statements issued by the National Union of Students and National uh, University and College Union concerning the occupation of Conservative Party HQ. The real violence in this situation relates not to a smashed window, but to the destructive impact of the cuts. The passion of the protesters was a timely reminder of the riot 30 years ago when black youth rose up against police harassment in a rebellion that sparked uprisings throughout Britain's inner cities. African Caribbeans, Asians and their white working class allies in Bristol, London, Birmingham, Liverpool, Leeds and several towns across the country forcefully sent home the message to the authorities that enough is enough. And we need to write those histories. I was talking to Brother Toyin at the back of the snow, he's from Nigeria. Do you remember him famously going to Westminster Abbey and spoiling the party? When all those white dignitaries were patting themselves on the back, congratulating themselves for abolishing uh, the slave trade. Well, it was we who were our own liberators. Congratulations to you, Toy. Uh, lots of love to you. I know you were arrested and suffered a lot of police harassment as a result of what you did, but we salute you. We should stop apologising when we get power. Black people like myself, who joined the Labour Party at the beginning of the 1980s to change it, felt the same way.